Hey everyone, David here with Headset Advisor. Today we're gonna show you how to raise your hand, lower your hand in your Zoom meetings, both as a host and also as a participant, even on your mobile phone. So let's dive in right now. Okay, so first, why do you want to raise or lower your hand? Well, first, you want to ask a question in a meeting so you don't want to disturb somebody. If somebody's in the middle of talking, you just kinda politely raise your hand, and when they're done uh, with whatever they're talking about, they can ask you to ask your question. So it helps, especially the larger that the meeting goes, um, the more reason to use it. So let me just show you quickly how to do it. Let me share my screen here. And quickly while I do that, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on this video. It really helps us out. We greatly appreciate it. Okay, what you're looking at here is the Zoom meeting. And I have uh, myself in um, on my mobile phone as well as the computer. The computer is the David Merritt here. And let's say me as the participant wants to raise my hand on the desktop. You simply click this reactions button on the right here and click this uh, icon that says raise hand. Now, as you can see from my desktop, um, I, there's this icon on the top that shows um, this hand icon. That lets everybody know in the meeting that I have a question that I would like to ask. Let's just say I decide the, some, it's got answered in the meeting and I wanna lower my hand. It's that easy to lower it. Now, as the host, you have additional options when people raise their hand. Let's say this person has raised their hand and I don't want them to ask a question or they're done with their question, so I simply just click lower hand. Now that hand is no longer lowered. Another thing that happens when somebody's hand is raised is on the right-hand side, um, if you're the host, there's just participants. Um, you can see uh, this icon on the right, how many people are raising their hands to have questions. Now you can see which person it is, and in this case, it's the host, me, who is raising their hand. Now, if somebody else raises their hand, you can now see that uh, DJ Merritt here, my cell phone, has a question as well, and that icon is present there. And you can see there's two people at the bottom, so you can get a total tally of however many hands are raised. Now, the options that you have is you could put somebody in waiting room, or you uh, the quick one is, oh, I'm gonna just lower their hand. And as you can see, the screen's updated with that. Um, let me go ahead and lower the hand here. All right, so now if you're on your mobile phone, how do you raise your hand if, um, let me just take that off just so you can see. Uh, let me stop sharing my screen here. I'm gonna try to show you on my cell phone. All right try to get it so that there's not so much glare. So, all right, you can see the blinds in this office here. At the bottom right, there is that more button. And there you see that. You can see raise hand at the top there. So now you see the raise hand there. And let me re-go back into the meeting just to show you what that looks like. All right, so now you can see DJ Merritt has a uh, a question and you can also click the participants here and then once um, he asks the question you can go ahead and lower the hand so that's how simple and how easy it is to raise and lower your hand as both the host and as the uh, participant from your mobile phone or your desktop hope that was very easy hit that thumbs up button on this video and also subscribe to our channel as that greatly uh, helps us out also, one other thing I do wanna mention is we have the eight best headsets for Zoom meetings. You want a high quality headset when you're doing a Zoom meeting so that you come across professional. Like this one, for example, is the Voyager 4220 and the microphone's actually coming through this meeting. And as you can tell, it's a very good experience rather than hearing the AirPods or the computer speakers built in where it's not a good audio experience. You want a professional, good quality microphone like this one. 
And I'm gonna put a link to that in the description below, but this is what the page is gonna look like. It's gonna be eight headsets that are optimized to work with Zoom specifically, as there's some unique advantages to these headsets for your Zoom meetings, and we constantly update that with the best options for you. So check it out, I'd greatly appreciate it. Other than that, I hope you found this video helpful, and we'll see you next time.